Hi, so I'm Kong here and welcome back to Finite Element Analysis with my lab analysis. So in the previous tutorial, we already tried to predict, uh, uh, trying to write FAM code in MATLAB and also ANSYS code uh, to solve the problem which is shown here. So we successfully obtained some uh, solution, but we don't know whether or not the result is correct. So in this tutorial, we have been trying to do the first task uh, in these questions, which is we need to compare our result in terms of this statement views with ANSYS. Okay. So come back our code here. As you remember, we already extract some ANSYS result, which is I store in the folder named data here. So if you don't have that one, please go back to the previous tutorial and learn how to do that one. Okay. So in here, in the previous tutorial, I believe we should run up to here, which is we uh, obtain the, uh, we calculate the metric and then we uh, calculate this statement. We obtain this statement result and then we save the data, which so in here. And then we have quickly post-processing to plot uh, and assist, sorry, to plot our uh, FAM code result. So, and remember, in order to do that problem, we need to import these two data from ANSYS, which is node coordinates and node or connectivity, right? So uh, let me run up to here to see what is the previous uh, result. So basically what we obtained from previous uh, tutorial is that one, but now we need to compare this statement G, uh, sorry, this statement U and V uh, in our FAM code uh, with ANSYS, okay? So now we come up to here. So before doing that, so let me uh, make the comment of that one, okay? So when we need to make the comment, remember, click that one or Ctrl R, right? So I need to click that one and Ctrl R. Okay, so now before we make a comparison, we need to uh, import ANSYS result, right? So click that one and we also need chain and stress, right? Uh, but in this tutorial, we will only compare this statement. So I will import only this statement view. So right click and right click and click import here. I guess you are familiar with this step. Uh, but let's choose numeric matrix, which is the format type we need. And pay attention on the format of this number in case there are some. Yes, you see. This values will become not a number. So what I often do is I can change, I can switch to type format, which is a fixed grid here. Okay, go back to here and see if there are any round color in the in the columns, which means we need to pay attention on that one. Okay, I don't I don't think there are some problem here. So basically, we don't need the uh, magnitude of the uh, of this statement. We only need uh, this statement in x direction and y direction, right? Of course, we don't have any this statement in z direction. So what I will uh, import is here and go up to the first one, which is here. Okay. You can uh, import all, but I prefer to put that one because I don't want to have some mess here so uh, just import so the name is this statement ANSYS right so now we have this statement ANSYS here so as you remember in the previous uh, tutorial we already know that when we import uh, that kind of data for sure there's some line that we have not a number uh, component right so because there are some uh, text here so uh, when we uh, input uh, the data in terms uh, in the form of uh, numerical matrix on as a format will become not a number so basically we need to remove these uh, lines uh, to clean the data right so we will have not from 37 so we need 38 uh, next to 37 so we will remove this line and we have more right so uh, what I write I think we are familiar with that one I will uh, create a new uh, variable called this statement and sys2, which is will include the uh, clean data. 
and then I click uh, create a loop for loop over the side of uh, my variable which is here in one direction which means in uh, the row direction so basically I have uh, let me see 392 row right so side of that one should be uh, 392 so I will create uh, that for loop and then whenever the first element that one uh, in the first column of this variable is a number okay is is an ans which means i will ask and uh, matlab that is this element is uh, an nan or not a number or not so if it equal to zero which mean okay and uh, matlab tell me that it is a number so if it is number i need to uh, keep that uh, rows if it's not a number right which means that one should be two which mean equal to one uh, here i need to remove it right so if i run that one as uh, you can see now this statement and this two can only include uh, 220 rows right which is clean data so you see probably we don't have any not a number anymore so remember that this column includes uh, this statement u and this column includes this statement v so let first we compare this statement u right so to do that one uh, i need to define uh, in our fem code uh, you can see that this statement uh, we generate in only one column vector which is mean uh, the first 322 call uh, rows uh, include this statement u and the the next 322 column will include uh, the this statement v so i need to define the uh, duf of u is from one to the number of nodes and then v uh, duf of v uh, which mean uh, degree of um, freedom of v from uh, that one plus and v uh, np right so u this statement u will equal to this which is that one uh, corresponding to the that degree of freedom and this statement u y will uh, corresponding to the next uh, 320 uh, row right so now what i uh, prefer to do is i will try to find the maximum and minimum of uh, this statement uh, in in ansys and maximum and minimum value of this statement in our fem code and then i will find minimum of of those so you see here first i write i find minimum value of u in fem code right maximum in fem code and then minimum of u in ansys right and then i take the minimum of of those two values so the i want i write that minimum u will equal to minimum of that two minimum value and maximum is similar so by doing that i want to put the my plot in both m code and ansys in the same range of value so i can easily compare the contour of the plot uh, and here is a deform configuration in MATLAB uh, in our fem code and here is a deform configuration in ANSYS right so let me compare this statement u in MATLAB I believe I can run up to here okay I don't have any two let me check it Uh, where is the NS2? Okay, I have only NS, so that one should be NS one. Uh, okay, hopefully it's fine. Okay, so here is the displacement in our fem code, right? And now let we run, make the comparison. Let me open that one. Okay, what happened? I have don't have a list here so I need to put that one okay so here is a uh, displacement u in ANSYS and here is the displacement v i u in fem our fem code so as you can see uh, very nice uh, girl right and we can uh, see that our result and uh, this agreed quite well so uh, 
uh, what I often do uh, here if I want to uh, make a report for uh, some uh, assignment or paper uh, I need to export that one in high quality uh, figure right so uh, let we do that one here is a check one and you go to file and export setup okay let me do it again go file export setup and then go to render so you can see the, there are some part we call resolution or dpi right so when you try to publish your uh, result in paper or journal or conference or even report to your uh, supervisor or for your colleagues i believe we should uh, export the figure in high quality so don't do that don't put that one out too right just right uh, click on that one and choose the maximum which is 600 dpi very high quality so most journal and conference only required up to 300 value uh, dpi but now we can export up to 600 here and then apply to figure right and click export here and you can save this in either MATLAB figure or I prefer to save this in that uh, no compression image which is it will remain on the quality of my figure although it's a, a large file around 20 me megabyte per, per figure but it will remain 600 dpi quality of the figure right and right click here and choose the photo that you want to save and click save so that is how i i uh, make a plot a comparison Okay, so uh, and up to here we already compare the displacement u, right? And then now we need to compare displacement v. So again, I take the minimum and maximum uh, value of uh, displacement v in fem code and in ANSYS, and I make the minimum uh, estimate the mi minimum of of those two. So I will have the range of uh, the color plot here. And again, I put it, now I put it in a variable uh, UY, which means displacement V uh, in FEM code. And here is the displacement uh, column 3. Uh, you can remember that the second column is displacement U and the third column is um, displacement V. And again, here I should put uh, a this uh, here. So let me run it. So right click and put uh, and click that one or you can simply put f9 here okay okay so you can see that although there are some very very tiny difference but we can conclude that our fem code and ansys uh, match uh, very well and up to here we can conclude that our uh, code work well and the result match uh, very well with ansys and I think uh, this tutorial should be finished here and we will go to the uh, post-processing uh, data for stretch and state in the next uh, tutorial. Uh, see you on the next tutorial.